Top 10 Fascinating Facts About Ducks In today's video, we will dive into the fascinating world of ducks, revealing the top 10 curious facts that will completely transform your perception of these birds. From unexpected abilities to behaviors that border on the incredible, get ready to be amazed by what these charming inhabitants of our lakes and rivers have to offer. Number 10. Talent for Surfing This curious fact highlights an unexpected facet of ducks, known primarily for their ability to swim and dive in search of food. What makes their surfing ability so fascinating is how they use currents and waves to their advantage, demonstrating adaptability and intelligence in water that surprises many observers. This skill is not limited to mere play or recreational activity. It is a survival strategy. Ducks use the waves to move more efficiently and save energy, which is crucial for their survival, especially during long migrations or in the search for food. By surfing the waves, these birds can travel longer distances without spending as much energy, allowing them to conserve their reserves for flight, foraging, and evading predators. Moreover, Duck's talent for surfing demonstrates their incredible adaptability to different aquatic environments. From small ponds to large lakes and rivers, and even in the open sea, ducks have shown they can skillfully maneuver using water conditions to their advantage. This ability is not only a testament to their evolution as aquatic species but also offers a glimpse into the complexity of their behaviors and the inherent intelligence of these birds. Number 9. Complex Communication Communication among ducks is not limited to simple sounds or calls. In fact, they have a broad repertoire of signals they use to interact with each other, which includes vocalizations, body movements, and visual signals. These forms of communication allow them to express a variety of messages, from danger warnings to invitations for mating or feeding. Duck vocalizations are particularly varied and can differ significantly between species and even among individuals. Calls can vary in pitch, duration, and intensity, depending on the situation and the message to be conveyed. For example, a duck may emit a rapid series of quacks to alert others to the presence of a predator, while a softer, melodic sound may be a courtship signal. In addition to vocalizations, Ducks also use visual signals and body movements to communicate. This includes the use of their feathers, head movements, and body positions to indicate readiness to fight, submission, or sexual interest. For instance, a male may perform a series of elaborate movements, like shaking his head or puffing up his chest, to attract a female's attention. Number 8. Migration in V formation. One of the most notable aspects of these patterns is their iconic V formation during flight. This formation is not merely a whim of nature but a sophisticated mechanism of aerodynamic efficiency that allows ducks to conserve energy and increase their endurance over long distances. When a duck flies at the tip of the V, it cuts through the air, creating a vortex at each end of its wings. This vortex provides an additional lift for the bird immediately behind it, allowing it to fly with less effort. As the lead duck tires, it moves to the back of the formation, and another duck takes its place at the front, ensuring that no individual becomes overly exhausted. This democratic rotation allows the group to maintain a constant speed and greater flight efficiency during their migration. The V formation also improves communication and coordination among the group members. By maintaining this formation, ducks can keep visual and auditory contact with each other, allowing them to react quickly to changes in direction or speed of the group. Additionally, this formation helps each duck to easily follow the migration route, ensuring that the group stays together and reducing the risk of any member getting lost. Number 7. Nests in unusual places. This peculiarity is due to their instinct to preserve and protect their offspring from predators, 
as well as the need to find a safe and conducive environment for the development of their young. Ducks, being aquatic birds, generally prefer areas close to water for nesting, such as ponds, lakes, or rivers. However, it is not uncommon to find them exploring less conventional environments. Among the most unusual sites selected by ducks for establishing their nests are rooftops of buildings, apartment balconies, urban backyards, and even in the hollows of tall trees or in old nests abandoned by other birds. This adaptability demonstrates not only their ingenuity but also the ability of ducks to navigate and make use of spaces modified or created by humans. This behavior has interesting implications for both ducks and people. On one hand, it underscores the importance of urban green spaces and the conservation of natural habitats within cities, not only for typically urban species but also for unexpected visitors like ducks. On the other hand, it poses challenges and opportunities for coexistence between humans and wildlife in urban environments, encouraging communities to consider practices and policies that protect these birds and their nests, even in the most unusual places. Number 6. Impressive Diving Abilities Ducks possess a series of physical adaptations that allow them to dive efficiently. One of these is their ability to hermetically seal their nostrils, preventing water from entering while submerged. Additionally, their bodies are designed to withstand the pressure of being underwater, allowing them to reach and explore surprising depths. What really sets ducks apart in water is their way of propelling themselves. They use their powerful webbed feet to push themselves down and forward, while their wings can assist in movement underwater allowing them to maneuver skillfully among aquatic plants and other obstacles in their quest for food. This underwater foraging is crucial, as many duck species depend on the resources they find beneath the surface, such as small fish, crustaceans, aquatic insects, and vegetation. The diving ability varies significantly among different duck species. Some, like eiders and diving ducks, are particularly adept and spend a great deal of their time feeding underwater. These species can dive to impressive depths and remain submerged for extended periods, allowing them to access food sources that other animals cannot reach. Number 5. Species Diversity Ducks are fascinating birds known for their ability to adapt to various aquatic environments around the world. One of the most astonishing features of these animals is their incredible species diversity. There are over 120 species of ducks, each with unique adaptations that allow them to thrive in their specific habitat. From the cold, icy landscapes of the Arctic, where the eider duck resides, to the warm, tropical lagoons home to species like the mandarin duck, the variety is astounding. This diversity is reflected not just in their habitats but also in their physical appearances and behaviors. For example, the mandarin duck is known for its colorful and striking plumage, while the eider duck is more subdued but has a remarkable ability for thermal insulation in its feathers, vital for surviving in extremely cold climates. Additionally, some duck species have developed unique skills, like the diving duck, which can submerge to considerable depths in search of food, differentiating itself from other species that prefer to feed on the surface or near water. The diversity of duck species also reflects the evolution and adaptation to aquatic ecosystems around the world. For example, in North America, the long-tailed duck and the cinnamon teal are examples of adaptations to different types of habitats and food sources, showcasing the rich biodiversity and complexity of these ecosystems. In Australia, the blue-billed duck represents another facet of this diversity, adapting to the continent's varied aquatic environments. Number 4. Waterproof Plumage one of the most notable is their waterproof plumage, a distinctive trait that allows them to stay dry and float with ease on water. But how do they achieve this feat? The secret behind their waterproof plumage lies in two key factors. 
the structure of their feathers and the presence of a special substance called preen oil. A duck's feathers are arranged in such a way that they overlap, forming a compact barrier against water. This arrangement, akin to roof tiles, prevents water from penetrating through the outer layers of the plumage. Additionally, ducks produce in their uropygial gland, located near the base of their tail, an oil that they apply to their feathers while preening. This oil not only helps keep the plumage flexible and in good condition but also adds an additional layer of waterproofing. By spreading this oil over their feathers with their beak, ducks create a surface that effectively repels water. This waterproof plumage is vital for ducks' survival, as it allows them to dive in search of food without their body losing heat from moisture. Moreover, it facilitates natural buoyancy, enabling them to rest on the water with minimal effort. This trait, combined with their webbed feet, makes ducks exceptional swimmers, capable of moving through water with great efficiency. Number 3. Ability to sleep with one eye open. This phenomenon, known as unihemispheric slow-wave sleep, allows ducks to keep one eye open while half of their brain remains awake and the other half sleeps. This ability gives them a significant evolutionary advantage, especially in environments where predators are a constant threat. Unihemispheric slow-wave sleep is not exclusive to ducks, but in them, it clearly shows how this adaptation helps them survive. When resting in groups, ducks located at the edges tend to sleep with the eye that is towards the outside of the circle open, while the inner eye remains closed. This arrangement allows them to watch for any potential danger approaching while they recharge their energies. Interestingly, this way of sleeping also allows them to stay afloat in water without sinking, as the half of their brain that is awake can control the necessary movement for flotation. This incredible ability shows how ducks have evolved to adapt to their environments, ensuring their survival through a balance between rest and vigilance. Number 2. Extraordinary Spatial Memory. This ability allows them to remember and navigate efficiently through extensive feeding areas, migratory routes, and nest locations, even after long periods of absence. Spatial memory in ducks is most evident in their migratory patterns. Each year, these birds undertake long journeys between their breeding zones and wintering areas, often traveling thousands of kilometers. Remarkably, they can return to exact places year after year, suggesting an outstanding ability to remember and recognize specific geographical features. This memory is not limited to migratory routes. Ducks are also capable of remembering the location of reliable and safe food sources. For example, if they find a pond or a field that provides abundant feeding, they can return to this specific place after being absent for a considerable time. This ability gives them a significant advantage in their survival, allowing them to optimize their feeding strategies and energy conservation. Number 1. Echolocation similar to dolphins. Ducks, those aquatic birds we usually associate with tranquil ponds and feeding in parks, hide surprising abilities that go beyond their capacity to fly and swim. One of these abilities is their echolocation, a phenomenon traditionally attributed to aquatic mammals like dolphins. Echolocation is the ability of an animal to detect objects, prey, and obstacles by emitting sounds that bounce off these elements and return to the emitter, providing an acoustic image of their surroundings. Dolphins are famous for their sophisticated use of echolocation, allowing them to navigate precisely in ocean depths, hunt in murky waters, and communicate in a complex language of clicks and whistles. However, the idea that ducks might have a similar ability is fascinating and broadens our understanding of bird sensory capabilities. While ducks do not use echolocation with the same complexity or range as dolphins, research suggests that some groups of aquatic birds could use similar mechanisms to navigate and locate food in conditions of limited visibility. 
This ability would be particularly useful in environments where visibility is significantly reduced, such as murky waters, at night, or under ice. Thank you.